Hello and welcome back. Today on Patriot Contraptions, I've got the Trunk CX-1 printer fired up. It's been probably uh, probably about two years, actually, since I've had this on my channel. And it's been just about that long since I've seriously printed with it. Mainly being because when I moved this printer up here, it got completely screwed up calibration-wise. So I've been spending some time just getting it to the point where it can actually print again. And now that it's printing, I've got a little project for it. I'm making a fan for this set of airsoft slash ski goggles slash paintball goggles slash whatever happened to be doing that today goggles. I use these for a lot of stuff where I'm just out having fun and one of the problems with them is they like to fog up. So a little trick I saw on a guy's helmet at a paintball game was he had these fans hooked up to it. So I thought I could buy a fan kit for like 20 bucks or I could 3D print one for next to nothing and mount a little computer fan, which is about a buck to two bucks on eBay, in it, and do the same exact thing by piping a little PEX tubing to the front of my helmet. So that's what I'm trying to do here today. Let's get into it. Right from the start of this project, I had a lot of trouble with the 3D printer. The bed just wanted to rock backwards and forwards, and despite tightening the rollers, it just didn't make any effect. That being said, in order for the next clip to make sense, I would just want to explain my original design, which was to have the 3D printed part and the fan mount to the back of the goggle strap, and then route the air through PEX tubing up to the front to then clear the fog out of the goggles. So as you can probably tell right off the bat, this is a different day. Um, what happened yesterday was I did get the print to print off of the Trunk CX-1. You can see it right here. It turned out okay. I put some silicone in the bottom of it there just to try to seal it up. Put the fan on it and tried to have it blow through the tubes. The problem was it just wasn't putting enough airflow out. So the air was coming into the fan and just kind of spiraling around inside and then coming right back out through the fan. It wasn't actually able to push the air through the tubes. It just didn't have enough volume. So what I decided to do was, and of course this is when my camera died, I decided to reprint the entire unit and I came up with this little unit. So as you can see, it's a box and the box actually vents directly into the goggles themselves. And then up on top, I've got just a cover on it. So very simple unit. Um, and the main difference between this and the other one is this one has full air flow through it. So I finished wiring up the circuit for our fan. As you can see, I've got my 9 volt, then I've got it connected to a switch, and just comes around here and back into the fan itself. You'll notice the blue wire is hanging loose. That's just because this is a feedback wire to tell a computer that's actually running, so it's not actually needed to run the fan. So we've got the wiring hooked up. We've got our little goggles set up here. Time to put them on and see if I can get it to work. I gotta put this on over my head like that. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. Okay, goggles are on and in position. Just loop this up over the back. Normally I would secure this into the strap of the goggles, but since this is just for testing, I don't see any reason to do that. So I've got my little button here hooked to our 9 volt battery. I'm going to cover my um, mouth with my hand and blow up into the goggles to try and fog them up. Then we'll see how long it takes for the goggles to actually unfog when I push the fan button. Here we go. I don't know how well you guys can see, but I'm completely fogged now. Hitting the button. I can't even see the camera. Hopefully this is showing up. Oh, there we go, yep. We're getting some fog dissipation. And yeah, it's clearing out nice. Almost completely clear now. I can already see really well. There's just one little spot in the top right. And yep, we are clear. So that took maybe five seconds. Um, let's try while the fan's running, see if I can blow in there, see if I can even get it to fog. Okay, 
So while I was blowing heavily into the goggles, it did fog a little bit, but then pretty much instantly cleared. So, yeah, overall, I'd say this is a complete success. Very happy with it. Um, yeah, this is just going to be cool. As I said earlier, this is going to be the Mark I version. Obviously, this is a bit big for the head. But I hopefully, if you guys enjoy this and you comment below, we'll be building and 3D printing an entire Mark II setup, which will fit right along the top of the goggles. That's the long-term plan here. I want to make this as compact for snowboarding as possible. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share it. Also, check out my other videos. I've got a ton of cool videos out there. A lot of homemade bicycles. My juggernaut armor is crazy. It's like Iron Man. And then I also have some bicycle videos where I'm building trailers, and we'll be seeing more boat videos in the future, too. Have a fantastic day. Patriot Contraptions, signing out.